Good afternoon, skiers and riders. Sugarloaf from Carabasset Valley. Time for your afternoon update brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. And you can find this and much more at our website, wskitv.com. So be sure to check it out. Looking like a good day tomorrow. We're looking at some morning snow showers. Uh, high temperatures at the summit right around 20 degrees, right around 30 degrees down here at the base. And we'll see a west-northwest wind picking up. And it will be noticeable out there, 35 to 50 up higher on the hill, 15 to 30 down here around the base. So just be aware of that wind out there. But that that will bring in some snow showers, so that's some good uh, news out there. We'll still see some more chances of snow showers on Wednesday, possibly starting with a mix, but who knows. Uh, we'll see some snow showers, 17 to 21 at the summit, base temperatures 26 to 30, and a south-southeast wind calming down as well, so not as bad as Tuesday. For Thursday... We'll see things starting to clear out in the morning, becoming mostly sunny throughout the day. 20 will do it for your high, 8 for your low. Partly sunny skies on Friday with a high of 25 degrees. And do your snow dances, folks. Looks like Christmas could be a uh, snowy one. So that would be some excellent news. The snowmakers loving these temperatures as well. Birchwood Interiors, check them out in Village West or online at birchwoodinteriors.com. 27 trails of skiing right on, 7 lifts getting you there. All trails are groomed out. We're looking at racing on narrow gauge, so be aware of that. And some nice packed powder machine groomed services out there as well. Get out there early and enjoy the corduroy. Snubber, Skidway, Sawduster, those three lifts move you around the base area at 8.30. Super Quad, Double Runner East, and Skyline get going at 8.30 as well to get you a little higher up on the hill. And 9 o'clock, the uppermost lift, Timberline, will be running winds and weather permission. We'll have to keep an eye on those winds for the day on Tuesday. Snowmaking continues on Wiffletree as well as Spillway and Lombard Crosscuts as well as Ramdown and Skidder. And then they'll head even more east after they do that. Uphill travel, tote road from 7.30 uh, to 8.30. And then after that, take Windrow up to Bullwinkles and that'll be the high point as well. Lower Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, King's Landing, Hayburner, Narrow Gauge, Spillway and Sluice, as well as Lower Winter's Way and all the trails around the base area will get groomed out tonight. That is subject to change, so just uh, be aware of that. We'll update you more in the morning what they did get up to uh, or what they did get out there and groom out. Fat bike trail conditions uh, kind of all over the place, but I think if you get out there and ride, you'll have a great time. And if anything, more riders need to be out there to pack down the trail. Just be aware of the tread you're leaving. Uh, pedestrians, too, please. Know before you go with WSKI. Check out our live quad cam. You can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time, so you can know before you go. Also, check out our website, WSKITV.com, for tons of great videos. And we're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as YouTube for our latest local content.